Hey guys, I really hope you can see me. Um, hello, it is Morgan, and today I'm doing a review on the pop figure, Star Wars Boba Fett. Um, my mom really liked this character. I wasn't 100% sure who he was, really, until she was like, oh my gosh, it's Boba Fett. I'm like, okay, whatever. It's Boba Fett. This may be a really hard video, because I do not know all these thingamajiggies, because I haven't watched the original movie since I was little. People are walking above me. Um, so I haven't watched this movie since I was really little, so I don't know all of these little gadgets or anything. So it's, it may be hard to review him, but I'm going to do it anyway, because I know you guys like Star Wars. Hopefully. Um, so Gre uh, uh, Greedo. Greedo. What? No, Boba Fett has this kind of conish head. It's rounded. He is mostly green. Up here, it's kind of like a baby green or like a mossish color. Um, it's kind of like a T, and it goes around. It's outlined in um, red, and this is his mask, kind of. This is the mask part. And then this part is black. There are two little arrows up here. You can't see them very well. But there are two little arrows, and they're both yellow, and they're going like these two directions. They're right next to each other. There are like some scuff marks right here on his head. I don't know why. It's just like little scuffs. Um, he's got a couple dots around his head. Ooh, his head is all dusty. Um, he's got parts where they look kind of like ears. And there are like yellow lines around it. It's the same on this side, but it has like this silver piece. It comes up into probably like some kind of radar thing. And it's like black and silver. And it feels like a twig. Like it feels like it's going to break. Um, and then this part is silver. His chest, like his body is silver, but his chest pieces are green. This is like a circle, but there's the middle part is missing because it's got like this sort of like leafish or stabbing thing in the middle of it. It's just off to the right side of his chest. Um, and then he's got this little green thing in the middle. It's outlined with, like, green. It's got, like, green patches here and there. His arms have, um, this yellow thing at the top with this red symbol. I don't know if you guys know what that is, but that'd be really cool if you guys knew. It looks like a ship or something. And then it's got, like, these beige pieces that come down, and then he has, like, a red bracelet thing. It's hard to review, it's, it's hard to review him than to do it with a Monster High doll. His back is completely green. It's kind of like a cape here. He has a humongous, like, jetpack thing or something, some kind of device. It's green, yellow, silver, and red, and it's got a bunch of gadgets. I think that they do really well with the pop figures, making them detailed, because it's the whole part of the show. People will be like, what? Why isn't it this, that, and the other? His belt is brown, and then he's got, like, this beige thing on it. He's got it on both sides. His legs have, like, this yellow thing that go around them. And then his feet are, like, gray. Um, he's got this cool gun, and it's, like, a grayish... It's, like, a gray-black, sort of. Finally, I made it through it. Oh, and then he's got this, like, silver thing on the back of him. This is a stand. It's round, and it's got a piece that jets out. Shh. And it says Star Wars on it. Um... Here's his box. It's his Pop Star Wars number 8 Boba Fett final bobblehead. Same on this side, and the same on this side. On oh, no, this side, sorry. Um, and then it's his Pop Star Wars Boba Fett vinyl bobblehead. It's from series 2. He's number 8. Number 8 is Boba Fett, and then here he is. It's his StarWars.com. Number 9 is Darth Maul. Number 10 is Obi Wan Kenobi, and it doesn't have the one with Ewan McGregor because those ones were made a lot later. And it was just doing the original. Um, number 11 is Luke Skywalker, Jedi Knight. Number 12 is Gamorrean Guard. And number 13 is C-3PO. On the bottom, I got this one at, um, a store called Spencer's. It's a very inappropriate store. So if you're 13 and younger, you pro like, if you're, like, 12 and younger, you sh probably shouldn't go to that store. Because it's very inappropriate. But this one was twelve ninety nine, And this is the only place I've ever found Boba Fett. So there he is. And this is Funko.com. says where their headquarters is. And then it says he's made in China. Ooh. So 
Thank you guys so much for watching. Before I go, I'd like to give a shout out to Doll Studio 12 and Sid the Kid and Friends. It's every word is capitalized. It's so cool. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. Love y'all, and I can't wait to do more pop figures, more Star Wars, some How to Train Your Dragon 2, and SpongeBob. So bye.